happy black history month so our first stop is taliesin you'll be seeing me a lot in taliesin because it is the art center literally the art center anyways i don't get keep okay if you want anything artsy come to taliesin and um i just want to start off by just talking about what black history month means to me and black history month is a month of celebrating different diverse cultures all around africa and appreciating them and doing things to like also educate other people on these cultures usually i will have like my afro out during black history month just to you know just to show that i'm there i'm here for the cause but not this month so back to upcycling the textiles, I was just with Ophelia and she was showing me how you're meant to do it. I still had no clue, but guys, food is our savior. And look at all that pizza, it looks very good. I'm vegetarian, but the pizza was still banging, okay? And back to actually doing the stuff I went for. The jeans were meant to be like clouds and i was supposed to like put some flowers on there but then i also thought mm, let me do something abstract and put some beads and when i took these beads home tell me why they just went all over my floor so i'm an art girl okay i love art anything artsy i'm there okay and today's event was just i loved it i loved it and i would like to, to do more of these and i actually realized that um they do more of these events like every week they do art events. I did not know, I had no idea, but now I will probably be joining all of these art events every week. Well, maybe not every week, but most of the weeks I will be there. Art is so therapeutic. And the lady who was facilitating the event actually allowed for us to like take some of the material to finish our work at home. So I will show you what I made at the end because i still need to do that i still need to work on it i ended up going more of like abstract but i had an idea of like doing flowers and all of that it didn't work out we move but yeah see you at the next event <laughs> I am just coming from the library and I am going to watch the woman came with my friends. I'm going to join them there. So see you guys. So what did you think about the film? Um, it was really nice. I think Black History Month. It's my second time watching it. And actually no, it was my third time watching it. It's still good. The film was good. It was vibing. We were good. It was nice. We enjoyed it. Hello, so it is raining again because it's Swansea and I just wanted to do like um, a very quick update on what happened today. I wasn't able to film today because people were talking about some very, I guess, private or people were talking about the experiences in Wales around the world about like what's happened to them being a black person, being a person of color and I didn't feel comfortable i guess <laughs> filming that because privacy reasons and all of that the workshop today was just for people to share their experiences and see what can be done there's going to be a mural that's going to be created just outside of union house with like well we're still brainstorming on like what we should do when it is done in november i will show you and hopefully it will be beautiful. Well, it will be beautiful. <laughs> it's been very emotional today. Just like talking and going through my past experiences and what has happened to me as a black person here in Swansea. It, it would amaze you um, how people are still very racist in Swansea. Even at uni, 
where there's supposed to be diversity and inclusion like i would understand if it was outside of uni but people still go race people still go through like racist um stuff so yeah if you're watching this please be a better person educate yourself about black history and then like staring at like a person of color in disgust that's like being racist that's not the best thing to do like teach your children to be better individuals because sometimes children or the people around you learn from you and then they exhibit all these racist um actions out of ignorance and so many other reasons so please be better people please treat people fairly whether you work with people whether you're at uni treat people fairly like we're all human beings just dif different skin tones just different histories so be nice out there people and yeah that's it for me from today i'm a bit drained emotionally but we move we're back at it again doing the art thing today we are doing the spray painting session i really met some very nice people today and i'm just gonna tell you about who we're actually painting so first off is betty campbell she was born as rachel elizabeth johnson and she was a welsh community activist and she was wales first black head teacher she was born in cardiff in a very poor family her father passed away during world war ii and her mom struggled financially but betty was always at the top of her class and she won this scholarship um, to the Lady Margaret High School for Girls. She faced discouragement from some of her teachers saying that she wasn't good enough, but this did not stop her. And she became a teacher, which she had always wanted to do. She went back to a town called Butte Town. I hope I'm not butchering that, in Cardiff. And she went back to the school that she was, she was at and she made some very you know she made some very innovative ideas on the education of children and she was actively involved in the community and there is a statue of her in cardiff next up we have vaughan githing he is a minister for economy for wales and he was born in zambia and did i mention he is the first black minister and i won't lie guys i found this very funny because it's 2023 he became a minister in 2021 and you know what it's good that there's this transformation but wow i i just couldn't believe that he was the first black minister in wales wow what i like about this minister is that he is someone who is always promoting diversity in the political industry and he's always saying that there, there's a need for more black and asian people in politics which i do believe is very true because you obviously need different views diversity allows for us to learn about other people's cultures get different views um and to just grow and have an open mind i love how wales is becoming more diversified but that's my two cents <laughs> Can we just appreciate the beauty of the colors? Just look at that. Anyways, I met some really great people at this event. People were literally well dressed and I got to learn so much about the Nigerian culture. These are some of the people that I met and we really had a great time. Also, outfit of the day. Let me just say there was so much dancing, so much drumming. At some point it was literally giving African wedding vibes. Like I was all for it. People were dancing, people were just enjoying themselves and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the videos, enjoy the dancing and then we'll wrap it around at the end.
music from wood and readings from rusted iron, chanting in different tongues and responding in unison, through deafening ululations and the jigging of their waist. Asimono jide kunuji. To the people, once bound in fetters, tongue tied by iron chains of slavery, but use the very shackles that once choked their necks to make local gongs of Ogele and Alo, dictating the tunes and making music that the world will never refuse to dance to. Asimono jide kunuji. played a Kahoot game and guess what? Your girl came second. I had to represent, okay? And I won like a Monopoly board. Thank you guys for coming around with me and just sharing this experience with me. I hope to see you at the Black History Month Ball.